as the Messianic movement t tends to uh, be enamored with the rabbinic literature, uh, particularly the, uh, the Mishnah. What would your response to or what would your view be on someone who says that we should follow the Mishnah? And, and how old do you think the Mishnah is? Oh, well, the Mishnah that we have now is, is, is definitely no earlier than the fourth century and parts of it. But it's been changed also along the way. Salvation is by faith. The Mishnah continues to teach that salvation is being a good, you know, uh, a good Jew, whether you're a proselyte, whether you're being, you know, come in as a, as a Gentile and do whatever you need to do. And, you know, that would include for the male circumcision. Well, Paul makes it very clear that circumcision doesn't, that's not what God counts as righteous. Sure. Um, you know, to, should we follow, uh, sh you know, should that be a practice amongst Christians? I think it should be because there's good reasons, but you, that's the, that's obedience to what you have already become. That is a child of God, not in order to gain status with God. Our, and the, the other thing is, is that the rabbinic literature has proven over and over again that it has been changed over the centuries. When they find older scraps somewhere, they say, wait a minute, it's different here than it was there. But when you do that with the scriptures, my, fam my favorite one <laughs> is Isaiah. If you take the Qumran scroll, which is at the latest, the uh, first century, but probably second century BCE, and you compare it with the Aleppo Codex of 986 or 985 and Lenny Gradensis of 1002 to 1005, somewhere in there, you see 18% 18, 18 changes of which only four of those of that percentage have any issue in making a difference of meaning. And no one has shown me where that 4% causes the meaning to change in such a way as to be at odds with what we have in our Bibles today of the book of Isaiah. There is nothing in Hebrew literature, I mean, excuse me, there's nothing in, in human literature that even begins to be at that level. God has saved his word for us. He has maintained it by his grace and mercy. Now, granted, there's some changes. We have to do uh, critical analysis and uh, so forth and so on. But um, in terms of all of the major and significant uh, aspects of saving faith and what it is and what who God is and what Yeshua is, and who he is, and what the Spirit has done. All of these are well documented throughout the Scriptures, and the Scriptures therefore become our basis for faith and for practice.